If when you string your bow, you're constantly noticing that your brace height is changing every day, I've got a video for you here, and I'm gonna show you how to keep the twists in your bow string so that way you don't lose them and have to re-add them every time you string your bow. Welcome to Archery Basics Explained, where I break down the archery fundamentals into easy to follow bite size formats. I'm Jake Kaminsky, and I'm gonna show you how to store your strings every single time you unstring your bow, so that way every time you string it back up, you don't have to constantly mess with your brace height. The only time that your brace height should be changing is if you notice huge changes in temperature, or you have a brand new string that needs to be shot in or broken in. It takes a little bit of time, especially depending on your string builder or if you built it yourself and didn't pre-stretch it, it will settle over time, so expect that to happen. If you don't know what brace height is, I'll have a link in the description below and a card at the top up there explaining what brace height is and how to measure it. So outside of adjusting anything on your bow, Every time you string your bow, unless you've changed the amount of twists in the string, it should be roughly the same brace height. So there's a couple different ways on how to store your bow string in a manner that won't lose any twists, and I'm gonna show you right now. The first way that I prefer to do it is when you have your bow unstrung, always do it the same way every single time, even if you have a stringer, put the string on the same side. Whatever side it ends up on, it doesn't matter, just do it the same. And then the way I like to do it is I like to grab my bow grip, grab the string off the bottom limb tip, hold onto the loop so I don't lose the amount of twists, and then I take it and put it onto the top limb in the same manner every single time, just like I do when I unstring it. And then when I take my limb out of my bow, I then take my string and I will push it down as far as the loop will go. This one's already fallen down all the way. I then loop it to the center of the limb like this, gather up the other end serving, wrap the string through the groove or the butt of the limb. Now this works for ILF limbs, obviously, but if you don't have ILF, you can just loop it around the base of the limb. And then you take the rest of the string, <clears throat> rest it on the front of the limb like this, and then that's it, it's done. Now you can slide it inside of a limb sleeve just like this, and it'll keep your string nice and protected. Although one thing to pay attention to is your center serving. You never want to bend your center serving at a sharp angle. If you do, your serving will separate and your bow string will wear prematurely. So now when I go to string my bow, I just unloop it, snap the limb back in its place like it should be, hold the bow in the same manner that I was when I unstrung the bow and put the string back on the upper limb, grab that loop, hold on to it, don't untwist it, and put it on the bottom limb in the same manner I took it off. I did not lose or add a single twist, not even a half of a twist, and now my brace height's gonna be the same when I string the bow back up. So again, unstring the bow, grab the bottom loop, hold on to it, put it on the top of the limb, put it in place, remove the limb, loop it across the back, and done. Now, same thing. Same manner, no loops lost, brace height will be the same. So. That is one way to do it when you're constantly using the same string on the same set of limbs in the same bow. But what happens if you have a backup string and you want it to be the same brace height and ready to go to put on your bow in case you have a problem with your main string? Or what if you like taking your string off the bow so you don't have it on your limbs and you want to store it separately? I have two different methods for that and it starts in the same way than it did with the other way. Unstring it, put it in the limb in the same way in the top, take it off the bottom, then hook it onto the top limb, hold them together so you don't lose any twists, and set your bow aside. I still haven't let go of the string, I still haven't changed the amount of twists, and you can do one of two methods. The first one's very simple, you can use a very basic tool, again, I haven't lost it even though I've changed hands. You can use a very simple tool such as a paper clip, or this thing that was given to me at a nursery tournament at some point, I don't know who makes it, but it says string flex and twist keeper on it. So maybe string flex makes it and it's a twist keeper. Makes sense to me. I don't know where you can get these, but it's a neat little tool because what you do is you clip it through your center, your end servings, your loops here, and now it's locked together. It can't change and these cannot be twisted or untwisted differently from each other. So when I'm done, I grab the string, I then fold it back and forth like this, nice and gently, again, being careful to not bend my center serving or my end servings in a sharp manner. And I can push it all together, and now I can slip it inside of a Ziploc bag, a tube, 
something like that, a case, and it will be kept safely. Now I can let go of everything, grab the two loops together, hold on to them, pop off my little string keeper, and then hook this on the upper loop and this on the lower loop and don't lose any of the twists and it stays the same and you won't change your brace height. Now, one more method, if you don't have a cool tool like that or you don't have a paper clip handy, again, taking the string off the bow and then what you will wanna do, and I'll show you a close up here, is you want to take one of the loops, pass it through the other loop and then take the loop that you passed it through and pass it through the loop that passed through the loop and pull them together in some sort of a looped knot, sort of, and they can't twist and untwist, and to remove them and break them apart, all you do is just kind of give them a wiggle back and forth and they pop apart, and then all you do is loop it on your limbs without letting go of the loops. If you let go of the loops, chances are it will untwist itself. So you gotta maintain control of your string the whole time and not let it go, otherwise it can twist and untwist unexpectedly and it'll cause all sorts of brace height changes. So that's how you keep your brace height the same. It's very simple, very straightforward, and you just have to do it the same way every single time and maintain control of your bow string. Don't just take it off your bow, and throw it in your case. You'll lose twists every single time, and hopefully this helps keep things a little bit more simple for a bow setup when you set it up each day at the range. If you liked Archery Basics Explained, please comment below and let me know some other topics you want me to cover. I want to make sure I'm producing relevant content for you. If you wouldn't mind, consider supporting this channel. It genuinely helps this channel out. I produce all this content for free for archers around the world to enjoy. I'm trying to fill a gap and give you all the information that I know inside my head, which is just knowledge for free. I don't believe you should have to pay for knowledge, and I'm doing my part to keep that going. Thank you to everybody who does support this channel. There's many different ways and links in the description below. And if you wouldn't mind, do subscribe, hit that notification bell, and consider sharing this video. All those things help this channel grow, and I really appreciate it.